In this episode, we walk through the 2020 Management Consulted Job Outlook. This is an opportunity for us to take a look at what we see is happening inside the consulting landscape, drawing on both our experience from the 2008 financial crisis and our experience navigating through the last six months as this crisis has unfolded. It's been very interesting to walk with the consulting firms to see the decisions that they're making and to work back toward the strategy that they're using, which illuminates yet another piece of Strategy Simplified. I'm Jenny Ray Leroux, the Managing Director of Management Consulted, and I'm so excited to bring you this Management Consulted Job Outlook. We have a lot of really interesting things that are happening in the job landscape. And so since I've been through a recession before, I thought I would explain how consulting firms usually think about and adapt to challenges in the purchasing market for consulting services. Number one, consulting services do not go away. But the mix of what consulting firms does shifts and the timing for when projects are committed changes. So let me just walk through a couple of examples. In 2008, when the beginning of the rumblings of the financial crisis began, consulting firms were considered to be, at least initially, superfluous. And so some firms went and said, look, we have cash that we need to conserve and we're not going to spend it on you. So there are automatic cancellations of contracts from certain companies. Those are sometimes net replaced or net incrementally positive for the other contracts that come in from companies that are long range thinking who say right now is the time for us to begin to plan for the future and we need the best advisors possible to do that. So they hire in consultants to help them with that part of the equation. So what we've seen in Q2 and Q3, at least anecdotally, many of these companies are private, but at least anecdotally, the companies that are standardly known as trusted advisors in the consulting space have been net positive. So they they have had some contract cancellation and they've also had some major contract benefits as they have been shifting to advising companies in the new normal of the economy. So when you know that, that provides the backdrop for what will happen inside consulting recruiting, i.e. there is disruption that's happening inside the consulting space. For those people who have been there for 10 or 12 years, it's not new disruption, but it is disruption and we have to understand how to deal with disruption in the marketplace. How do consulting firms deal with it? Well, here's one thing that they don't do. They do not hire zero new people. They do temporary hiring freezes for one to three months, but they do not do a year's worth of hiring freezes. So if a consulting firm were to continue their hiring freezes through the fall period of hiring, it would be a very different message and situation than if they had a hiring freeze in the period of the year when they normally are not hiring at all, which was the spring and the summer. So in the fall period, consulting firms need to and want to have talent that will come on board in 2021. They will be actively recruiting on campuses and through their standard off-campus diversity channels. So what this means is that the firms are going to be hiring. There is no firm that will hire zero people in the upcoming year. However, are firms revising the numbers of people that they are hiring down? The answer is a super solid yes. Consulting firms as fixed cost businesses that staff up people on salaries and then cover them through the project fees are concerned about the way that their cash burn would harm them if they don't have enough project work. And so in an environment like this, they don't go to zero, they don't go to a shock mode, but they do become highly conservative in this space. And so they will hire fewer people. In addition, with that conservatism comes a focus and a refocus on where they will hire. So consulting firms are less ambitious about hiring out of the box candidates. They go back to their core target schools. They go back to the core places, both in undergrad and in the MBA programs where they have long pipelines of expected great talent. They also go very strongly on referrals from people that are internal. So referrals become even more important, especially if you're not at a non-target school. And sometimes they actually do the two of them together. So they begin to look more at referred candidates from target schools rather than taking an open-ended view of those people and those schools. 
So with those things in mind, we have disruption in the landscape, which is not permanent, but definitely changing what consulting firms are working on and how they can plan for the future. We have conservatism that is entering into the way that they think about hiring in general. But we also have this important need for great talent, which means that they're not going to miss out on the peak hiring season. So the fourth thing that consulting firms will do is that they will hire what they believe is the base number of consultants that they will need for the upcoming year, both at the undergrad and at the post MBA level and experienced hires everywhere in between. But the thing that they will do on top of that is that they will pre-schedule a summer and spring hiring season like the one that they canceled in 2020 in 2021. And that season will be reevaluated in February or March when they know how many of their candidates that came from the internship and that they hired in the fall have agreed to come on board, when they know better their pipeline of work, and when they also know who is leaving the firm next year. So with all of those dynamics playing together, you can expect to see consulting firms hiring, but at lower levels than in the past in the fall. And you can expect a second season of hiring to come around should the economy be favorable enough for them to do that in the spring. We will continue to update you with companies that are hiring, changes to their hiring practices, and anything else that we're finding in the landscape as it's coming out. But for now, we just wanted to give you an update so that you can know how to plan and mentally prepare for the upcoming intense case interview season. If you enjoyed this clear review of what's happening in the management consulting job landscape, we'd love for you to share it with other people who are in the same boat. In addition, if you're wondering how to prepare for the very intense upcoming season, we would love to help you. At Management Consulting, we have a great black belt program, and we also have great free resources at the website managementconsulted.com. If you'd really like to join us for future episodes, please once you subscribe to the channel or join us over at YouTube. Thanks again for joining.